Hey, good morning, and happy first day of May. Um, May is a great month in my family. Uh, we have several people who are born in this month, so I hope it would be a, a blessed month for you, especially as we get ready to hopefully open up and, and return to some sense of normalcy uh, for the future. Deadwood. I grew up surrounded by trees. I was not born in a forest, but it's pretty close. We were surrounded by oak trees and locust trees and poplar trees, but most of what we had around us were pine, pine trees that I grew to love. That's where I learned about Deadwood. If you haven't noticed, the daily devotionals this week are leading up to Sunday's sermon, and you'll see the connection uh, when Sunday comes. As, as I did the study for this devotional, I learned that there are many things connected to Deadwood. There was a TV series entitled Deadwood. There is a Deadwood, uh, South Dakota, in the Black Hills. There's even a Deadwood, Texas, in Panola County, Texas, um, on the eastern part of the state. So what does all that have to do with Jesus Christ? In the house that we're renting right now as we're building, there were some trees that had unsightly dead branches on them. And if I had thought to uh, keep them, I would have shown them to you now. So you know what I did with those branches? I cut them off. And you may say, well, why? Well, beside the fact that they were ugly, First of all, a branch that was once alive but is now dead is vulnerable to disease and insects, which can spread and threaten the whole tree or vine. Secondly, a dead branch lacks the strength to support you. Uh, just trust me on this. I have tried to hang on to uh, and pull myself up or stand on enough dead wood branches and have had to pick myself up afterward when they broke to tell you that they don't support you. And then thirdly, dead wood steals valuable energy and nourishment from the rest of the tree or vine. The dead wood becomes a drain on the growth and productivity of the tree or the vine. Now maybe Jesus' words make more sense in John chapter 15 and verse 6 when he's talking about the grapevine and him being the vine. He said, anyone who separates from me is dead wood, gathered up and thrown onto the bonfire. As Stephen talked about earlier in this week when he talked about pruning, you prune excessive growth in order to produce greater fruit for the tree. But you prune dead wood for a very different reason. You prune dead wood, as I talked about earlier, because it's useless, even harmful to the tree or to the vine. My guess is that uh, there may be some watching who may have habits in your life that need to be trimmed out of your life, that need to be pruned because they're dead wood. As Jesus was telling uh, the analogy of the vine and the branches, what he was saying is there are people within the kingdom who may need to be pruned out because they have become useless, because they have become detached from the, the vine. And so there may be people who are even listening to this devotional who need to reattach to Jesus Christ. And what's interesting is the Bible doesn't seem all that concerned about how you got um, unattached or separated from the vine, whether it was because you were deceived or discouraged uh, or, or you were disillusioned or whatever the reason was that you got separated. What seems to matter to Jesus is that you get attached. So stay closely connected to Jesus. He is the vine. We are the branches. Be full of life be full of fruit. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you that Jesus is the great and true vine. Father, I pray that we will stay attached so that his life can live in us and through us. 
thank you for the power that is there. And I want to pray a special prayer right now, Father, for the people who at one time were attached to Jesus. But for whatever reason, they were, got distracted, they, they were deceived, they got discouraged, whatever the reason is. I pray that they'll come back hungering and thirsting for you and that you will graft them in again. Thank you, Father, for the hope that we have in your name. Please bless those who are especially needing our prayers during this COVID-19 circumstance. Praise be to your name. It's through Jesus we pray. Amen. God bless you all.